Peter Schweitzer is the author of Clinton Cash. He's followed things like this for many years, and he joins us tonight. Um, so, Peter, how, I mean, this seems like a big story. It doesn't mean it will be covered by but us tomorrow. But this man at the center of it, Campbell, can you explain his role in this? Sure. Um, so Campbell's a very interesting guy. Um, he has a history that, that hints at some background either in the military or intelligence, but he found himself in the mid-2000s uh, at basically um, uh, serving uh, in uh, this capacity with uh, 10X, this Russian firm, as a consultant. They were paying him $50,000 a month uh, to help things happen in Washington, D.C. As, as a consultant. Uh, he saw what was happening. He became an informant for the FBI and started sharing information. And what he is saying is that, you know, in this 2009-2010 period when Uranium One uh, was being considered and finally approved by the Obama administration, uh, that the Russians were funneling money through APCO, this lobbying firm, uh, in an effort to help that happen uh, and to benefit Hillary Clinton. And he says he told the FBI about this back in 2010, and they basically tried to bury it ever since. Interesting. What's so striking about this story is the Russians were concerned that this deal wouldn't go through. And yet we've been assured by everyone in Washington, the establishment, many idiot news anchors in the tank for the left, but all sort of the response people, oh, it was no big deal. It was authorized by all these different agencies. It was not controversial. <laughs> but it was controversial. There were people who thought it was a bad idea to give any of our uranium to a Russian company, weren't there? Oh, that, that's exactly right. I mean, you know, take Congressman King from Long Island. He was the uh, ranking yeah. member on the Homeland Security Committee. He's not a bomb thrower by any means. He was opposed no. to this deal. Um, the, the ranking Republican on the uh, uh, House uh, uh, Foreign Affairs Committee was opposed to this deal. Senator Barrasso of Wyoming was opposed to this deal, all raising legitimate questions and concerns about it. So this was a controversial deal outside the Obama admission, but within the Obama administration, there was very little debate, uh, and it was rammed through rather quickly. So, so we, at this point, are we certain, and I, I don't want to get over our skis at all on this, but are we certain that the government of Russia spent money in order to lobby the Obama administration, and perhaps the Clintons, who was serving as Secretary of State at the time, in order to secure this uranium deal? We know that. Well, what we know is that the uh, that the Russians uh, gave money to APCO, $3 million. Uh, the Russians, uh, according to Campbell, in uh, audio and videotapes that the FBI have, say that it was used for the purposes of Uranium One. APCO is denying that and say, no, it involved other work that they were doing on behalf of Russia. And, of course, that's part of the problem, Tucker, is all this Russian money is sloshing around Washington, D.C. Um, and and uh, so it's not a surprise that there are a lot of people that are making money and a lot of people that were trying to do bidding for Moscow, whether it was on Uranium One or on other issues. And if you're going to pretend that Russia is our greatest international threat, you'd have to be concerned about this. But of course, they're not because they're liars. Peter, thank you.